Hey, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining me on Turner Classic Movies, where our theme of the night is train robberies. And up next, a good one, a movie that draws from a unique inspiration. From director Raoul Walsh in 1949, Joel McRae stars in Colorado Territory. It's the story of a notorious outlaw, Wes McQueen. And as the movie begins, McQueen is busted out of prison with the help of an old friend. In return, the friend wants McQueen to pull off one last heist so they can both retire. This same story had been told on the big screen before, just eight years earlier, but it wasn't a Western. The first version was a groundbreaking gangster movie, High Sierra, also directed by Raoul Walsh. That film, set in the present day of 1941, told largely the same story, but with cars and machine guns instead of horses and six shooters. High Sierra was groundbreaking because it dared to blur the lines between good and evil, between hero and villain. And this Western remake does the same thing. We know Wes McQueen is a bad guy. He's an outlaw. But we end up rooting for him anyway because he's so likable. And to help us get there, to get us sympathizing with this outlaw, Raoul Walsh cast Joel McRae as Wes McQueen. McRae was almost always cast as a good guy and always seemed to have an aura of honor, of decency. The cast also includes Virginia Mayo, Dorothy Malone, and Henry Hill. From Warner Brothers in 1949, here is director Raoul Walsh's Western retelling of his own landmark gangster film, High Sierra. This is Colorado Territory. Mm -hmm. 